So boom, we are back with another video. We got Tesla stock in this video, ticker symbol TSLA from Will Knowledge. Tesla had a big crash on Friday, and we really need to know, will this crash continue, or is just as a one big day drop, okay? Because if it starts breaking the support levels that I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to give y'all two, by the way, just in case we have a big movement like this, you'll be prepared, and you'll know if those supports start breaking, Tesla's going to get real bearish real fast, and it's going to get even bigger crashes, probably below $200, because this big crash right here hit about $213, and we had bounce off of that. That was the old support level I gave y'all. You see how it came down below that, and then we have bounce to go right back above it? That means it doesn't want to drop just yet. This was a very large movement. We're also going to go over news of the Shanghai, uh, what Elon Musk tweeted right there. We'll go over that, the factories, the deliveries that they're coming out with, and also is Tesla getting a little bit overvalued? Is their run pretty much over? We're going to talk about that as well. So smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Let's get straight into it. Also, watch the video before this one on Palantir stock. Everything on Palantir, I know it's booming. If you can see Palantir stock right there, booming like crazy. I went over that, how I was looking to buy. We already bought shares. I was taking profits and so forth on that, okay? The video right before this one. So, Tesla, we had a big drop. But before we go over all the major levels, let's go to build a little bit of the news. As y'all know, if you have a owner like Te uh, Elon, he's going to be in news pretty much almost every day, okay? Now, Elon Musk has confirmed that the Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai is currently running at maximum capacity. This suggests that China uh, would likely be operating at full throttle all the way to end of 2022. He responds to some allegations, as you can see here. Um, yeah, so I think somebody wrote down here and then he replied, believe in the news is silly. He said on September 7th, Believe in news is silly. Our Shanghai factory is running at a max capacity. Okay, I keep clicking it. It goes. But yeah, Shanghai is running at max capacity. That's what Elon Musk said. Okay. Also, their sales roared back in August, high months, marking a 37 increase compared to July, according to data released Monday by the China Passenger Car Association. So this Monday, that's the news that we kind of got, all right, to defend this Tesla position in China. So their deliveries were about 63,000 domestically in China, while reporting 23,000 China made vehicles to foreign markets during August, which was last month. So that was a sales growth of 37% versus the 46,000 sales in July, right? So they're growing pretty good, but they're still at about 2% down compared from the last year, August of 2023, right? Down about 2%. Now, with that being said, they're pretty they're doing pretty good um, in China. OK, they also sold last week. The China passenger car released preliminary data showing Tesla sold 86,000 China made EVs in August, including exports that marked a 7 percent increase from July and a 3 percent jump a year earlier. So they're doing pretty good in China. That's just a little bit of news. Uh, anytime I make a Tesla video, I try to add some news in there as well. But Tesla is looking very heavy on the downside. OK, there's only one way I would change that and say I'm expecting upside on Tesla, okay? And also, do I want to sell Tesla in this range? No, okay? I don't want to sell Tesla in this range, but if it starts breaking these two support levels I'm going to give y'all, I might sell a little bit, right? So say I have a 100% position, I might sell like 15, kind of lower that position because if it breaks these support levels, I think Tesla's going like down here, and then I'll put that shares to... um better use companies that I think are lower right now, better values. And then once Tesla gets down there, I'll just buy the Tesla up again at these lower prices. Okay. So now we went over the news. Let's go over the level. So let's clear all this off. Okay. Because we're going to have two support levels and one resistance level. The resistance level is 230. If Tesla can break this 230, then I'm expecting Tesla to reach up to higher prices, 240, 250. It tried it two days in a row and it did not want to do it. Uh, Thursday last week, it tried to break it, it stalled out, kept hitting that resistance level all throughout here, right? And then Friday, y'all know what happened Friday, we had that big crash that brought us right below that resistance level. So we have to break the resistance level, meaning price has to come up here, break that, and it actually has to leave that price action of this resistance level. It has to leave it to show signs that it wants to go higher. It has not done that. So watch that 230. And once that breaks, that's what I'm looking for, shorter term call options more shares for like potential swings and so forth, right? And once that 230 breaks, but if that doesn't break, then that's just in a bad area of Tesla stock, right? Not good at all. Um, so the first support level you want to watch is 213. The second one you want to watch is down here at about 207.50. So I'm going to put two now. I don't want to put too much on the chart, but 207, 207.50. These are the levels you want to be watching out for right here, because if we break this 207.50, right, 
Maybe instead of selling the shares, I'll get swing put options, try to profit about 20, 30%. Like say you put $1,000 and you profit 20%, that'd be about $200. And I'll save that $200. So the, the profit that I make off Tesla, I'll just put it aside. And then once Tesla breaks and crashes and has the drop downs, which I think if it breaks so support, you'll probably see Tesla back below 200. That profit that I'll make off the swing puts, I'll just buy the Tesla shares in here. So it doesn't cost any extra money. I'm just using the prof Tesla profit to just put it back in the shares. I could do that also, but just make sure you join the team first in the description. You get to see everything I buy and sell. You can also join the private market live streams where we're going over all this every morning, right? Even this morning, we did some Apple put options that did over 30% gains right there. And it only took about three minutes for that play to form. And we were literally done. I got off live. Everybody enjoyed their day. We did all our profit. You can see 10%, 20%, and over 35% gains. Then also, I, I took some profit off Palantir. Um, you can see that when you join the team as well. But to make sure you join the team, we got elite, elite year, lifetime memberships, and personal training. Everything's on the website. First in the description. See which fits you best, okay? And also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, willknowledge 77 i be posting on Twitter about the Apple event that was going on, Palantir, all that good stuff. And also, follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge. Make sure you're following the right one, okay? So those are the two. Make sure you're following the right one. So those are the two uh, levels I'm looking out for, supports, resistance, and how I'm looking to play Tesla when I want to buy. If it breaks down here, I'll be buying down here. I already have shares of Tesla, so buying it in this range when Tesla really hasn't done much. It's kind of just been stalled right around this 220 area just since like July. So there's no point in me buying heavy shares in here just yet when Tesla doesn't want to really move yet. The last time we bought swings and call options was actually in this range, and we took our profits. So the profit that I made off that Tesla, I'm just putting it aside. So if Tesla does crash to lower prices, I'll just use that profit to add into more Tesla shares because Tesla shares can rock it very fast and what would be optimal in tesla if it can move with no news right so tesla starts moving with the no news right and then good news comes out it's going to rocket tesla probably closer around the 280 so just be mindful of that these are the levels but if they break this tesla is going to get real dangerous on that downside so just be mindful of that friday was a little bit of a sign that tesla might not want to go up just yet unless we break that 230 but for now i'm just assuming that it doesn't want to go up until we break that 230 okay but if it breaks these two supports then that's going to be the smallest signs and smaller signals that we want to continue going down so smash like button subscribe if you're a new thing guys uh the big levels video will probably come out two to three hours after this one let me know what stock shot one in that as fast as possible try to comment within the first 30 minutes or hour of the video that way i can kind of see it and try to add in the levels video okay but always remember no recommendation of our so anything just for educational purposes only and all uh do not trade anything you see or hear in this video i will catch you guys in that next one